Hey everyone, here's the first part class development of Mage to High Wizard in Ragnarok Origin Global. Also, the clips in this video are tested and recorded in the closed beta test. So without further ado, let's get started. Upon creating your character and change job to Mage, I highly suggest that you focus on doing the story quest. And the skill that you should focus for now is the Soul Strike or Fireball when grinding with a party then putting all your stats on intelligence. At level 22, pets will be unlocked. Mage while casting can easily be interrupted, that's why I highly recommend Sand of the Earth as it uses devotion skill just like the Paladin skill or Volcanic Bulldog for shield. At level 25, in the unidentified metal shop, buy the two pieces level 25 accessory box and choose flower rings. At level 30 to 40, start hunting Mocha. You need to find the party for faster kill. And finally, at level 40, you can change job to wizard. Make sure to finish the follow-up job change quest to acquire 9 to 10 job levels. And also the skill that you need to max should be the Fire Pillar. There are ways to grind faster when using Wizard, but I end up using this one. So I posted my full beat knight on this spot and kept using Provoke. So Muka will stick together while using Fire Pillar because it has small AoE. Or you can actually just stand on 3 monster spot and keep using Fire Pillar. Another thing if you're going to spend in the game, I highly suggest that you get Earthlord as soon as possible. TRS Pep Earthlord has wide AoE provoke skill and you can check this in this clip and I would like to give credit to Rens Frias for allowing me to add this in this video. As you can see in this clip, if you have Earthlord and your class has wide AoE damage skill, just like Wizard, Hunter to Rubber build, or Knight Brandy Spear build, anything is possible with this pet. At level 45, in the unidentified metal shop, buy the two pieces level 45 accessory box and choose clips or earrings. Also at level 45, you can start hunting Flora and keep spamming Meteor Storm. At level 50, you can finally craft new weapon and armors. And as for the weapon, there are two weapons that I highly suggest. The first one will be the Ember Staff. This weapon will greatly increase the Firebolt and Fireball skill's damage. It's also a great choice in the early levels since there are a lot of Earth-type and Undead-type monsters that you can grind too. You just have to keep spamming Firebolt and Fire Pillar. The other weapon will be the Torn Staff of Darkness. This weapon will greatly decrease the cast time of the skills depending on its refinement. So if you're a competitive player and want to raise your level as much as possible, then I highly recommend this one. For armors, use Magic Coat. For garment, use Hood. For shoes, use Magic Boots. And if you will choose Torn Staff of Darkness, then for shield, use Crack Buckler. As for the skill build, for Meteor Storm build, and you can use it for grinding, you just check this clip. While for crowd control build, I usually use this build for Helheim or for Guild vs. Guild. You may check this clip. For stat build, focus more on intelligence than dexterity. For Valkyrie feathers, use the feathers that will increase the magic attack, intelligence, and ignore magic defense. Just like in my Valkyrie dual panel, I installed Glory, Devotion, Sky, and Zenith. For card deposit, Store cards that will increase the magic attack and HP.
At level 55, their score will be unlocked. The very score that I highly suggest will be the Deadly Swamp Core. I had a terrible luck when I synthesized my very score in global server. That's why I'm going to use my previous video to showcase this core. When you equip Deadly Swamp Core, Quagmire skill will have damage when the enemies are inside. So here's how you can use it in grinding. But if you have an Earth Lord, just stand in this area and let the Earth Lord use its AoE Provoke, then kill the monsters using Meteor Storm. Okay, so that's how I manually grind before in Korea server. So that's all in this video. I'll post a second part when the game is officially released. I'm out and peace yo!